All right, y'all. So we were worried about that frost Friday, and we did a whole lot. I'll put some video later on to show you what we did. And we were worried that we were going to lose everything because our last frost date was supposed to be about two and a half weeks ago. Instead, it was like four days ago, and it got down to 28. And we had tomato plants out. We had all our seeds in the ground. Things were starting to sprout. Well, let's look at how everything is going now. So we got all of our protective layering off. We covered it with tarps and put up heat lamps with from our chicken brooders. Look at our Crack Key tomatoes. They're hydroponic tomatoes. It's called the Crack Key style. Uh, if you followed some of my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. I got a little bit of burnage right here from a lamp that's okay but look they're looking good they're looking good we got some flowers i mean it is march and we got flowers we're gonna have tomatoes in no time i mean look how good they're looking i'm so happy this frost did not take them out let's go around now, one of the things I was worried about is all the seedlings that were starting to sprout. Now, I had more seeds. If I lost them, I lost them. I just replant. But look, the green beans. Actually, those are going to be purple beans. The green beans are over here. Neighbor's dogs are barking. Right here, we just planted some stuff. That row was empty. These next couple rows, these were indoors still. We just planted them. They're looking a little sad, but they'll perk up. There's some poblanos and some purple tomatillas. This is some eggplant here. If you look here, my little mouse melons that everybody loved last year. They're starting to come up. That's pretty awesome. Squash is starting to come out. <clears throat> I'm still struggling with my merlitons or chayotes, whatever you want to call them. I got this one in a pot because they like well-draining soil. We got a lot of rain. So I'm doing a whole bunch of experiments to try to get these going. Some in the ground, some in pots, some in mounds, another one in pot. But hey, you know what's awesome? everything's so alive so conclusion guys don't give up don't let your setbacks hold you back keep growing and especially in the times that we're doing right now with every the world all crazy keep growing and stay positive strawberries in march look at that are going to be so tasty. We're about to pick them. Just wanted to show y'all guys.